Always gotta make dumb faces after the sad poem. Okay, here's less sad poem. Um, so uh, I hope you guys like that one. That was about all the sad parts of my mom, but my mom's generally like a very fun, happy person. She makes me very happy. Um, for all the people who've met my mom, she's just, she's just like a beam of light, always. Um, my father is similar. He's also a very happy person, but um, he got into some rough stuff when he was a teenager and it never really let him go. Um, and so uh, he's kind of been, my father's been like a, a, a heroin addict and in and out of jail for like most of my life. And I write a lot of poems blaming him, I think. I write a lot of poems where I'm like, I hate you, why'd you leave, stuff like that. Um, and I think that's very important for the healing process. But this was a poem where I just, I wanted to praise all of the things that my father's done for me, um, all of the special moments that we had. Um, because uh, we're working to like repair our relationship now, and I think it's important to remember all the good things. Um, so this will be my last poem. I know you want to get rid of me. Um, but this is uh, Praise after Carvin's Ascent. Praise be to my father's hands. I've never written about them open before. Always spoke of them all bite and brick and yellow tobacco ghosts between the first and second fingers. I forget that when I was born, he tattooed the name he gave me on his knuckles so that even when his hands weren't kind, they carried me. I forget that when I was a baby, he never answered to dad, only papa, that he would kept silent when I called for anything other than what he wanted to be called. Praise be to my father for being my first lesson in owning a name. Praise the roaches that he carried out of my crib when my parents only had enough to rent a three-room apartment with an infestation problem. Praise how carefully he tried to carry every single one from the bedroom to the curb instead of killing them. Praise my father's ironic distaste for violence. But praise the reform, those open hands that loved kindness after they knew of rage and still unburied the will to shelter something. Praise the shelter. Praise the will. Praise the Sunday morning cartoons. You know, when Cartoon Network was always the first choice, but Nickelodeon, that was the reliable backup. <laughs> Praise to waking up on my father's mattress in the leaky basement below his landlord, to waking up and racing upstairs in just a t-shirt to yell back that Avatar was on, and then he was asked if it was a rerun, and then if I said no, then the only sound that came back was his running footsteps and then his leap onto the couch beside me. Praise the ritual love makes for itself when it has nothing else stable. Praise my father's bedroom walls, covered in the crayon and marker drawings I made for him. Messy and unfinished, he hung them like they were Picasso's finest, and it was my first lesson in forgetting doubt. Praise the reminder that I was a person who could make something good enough to keep. Praise the midnight snacks, the cereal, the ice cream, Praise the broccoli that he snuck into my pancakes. Praise the bad poems that he would always write me. Praise the hundred letters from prison. Praise the box that I kept them in. Praise the time that I threw them all away in a fit and then picked every single one back out. Praise that despite what I felt, I was never completely forgotten. My father, he's stupid <laughs> and he's reckless and he's violent. And I know in my heart that he still thinks he has a daughter, but I miss him. And I don't have the strength to stand up and tell you about all the ways in which my father took my joy again this month. And I'm sick of everyone else having someone to praise that I don't. So I'm building my own. I won't speak of my father's closed hands. Those come later. They come always, but they are open now. In this moment, my father is a prayer that I miss speaking. So praise the speaking, praise the release, and praise the missing, because it is this lesson in remembering faith. Thank you. Yeah.